Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I'm going to be talking in detail about how I think shotguns specifically need to be changed in Vigor. This is really the biggest obstacle I've seen in Vigor's weapon balance, and I really want to hammer home the point that this needs to get changed as soon as possible in order to help the health of the game overall. Even if it's not my suggested changes, something needs to get done about this sooner rather than later. So let's jump right into this weapon balance discussion. Shotguns are special in the way that their projectile works, and in nearly every game it is the developer's responsibility to make sure they feel powerful to reflect that difference. That being said, Vigor's version of shotguns is laughable at best, and really it needs to be looked at. To start, I want to talk about why they need to be changed, and once we establish what's wrong with them right now, we can start talking about possible solutions for the future. To summarize it, spread is very big on them, and their damage values are incredibly unpredictable because of that. The result of this is the effective range is basically point blank, and I would consider it to be underwhelming in comparison to the performance of other guns in Vigor because it feels like there's about 5 to 10 meters where shotguns are usable, and then they suddenly taper off to do almost nothing after that. This, of course, leads to plenty of moments where you will aim perfectly on someone and feel completely ripped off because only two pellets hit them in the leg. Now, apart from my little rant, why is this really a problem? Well, comparatively, the rest of Vigor's guns are pretty realistic, or at the very least, are balanced to perform in a similar niche to their caliber's real-life counterpart. And, you know, in real life, shotguns don't just suddenly stop working after a certain distance. Yes, there's an effective range, but pellets are somewhat consistent and reasonably predictable at well past 20 meters. Vigor's gunplay is definitely more realism-based than other arcade shooters on the market, so I don't understand why it has the same shotgun damage model as Call of Duty. Now, let me preface that I get why this was done from a balancing perspective. Nothing is more frustrating than a shotgun meta where you can get one-shotted to the chest like 40 meters away, and I'll elaborate on some specific concerns for my suggested solutions as I continue. My idea for how to change shotguns is pretty simple. Just drastically tighten the spread and, in testing, if that causes serious balancing issues, reduce individual pellet damage values to compensate for the accuracy increase. Or add damage fall off to completely negate the concern and manually balance slash cap the potential damage at range. But of course, with either of those, there should still be a longer effective range and more gradual approach to damage reduction to make them feel more consistent and realistic. Now, I'm not gonna lie, an overhauled shotgun spread makes me worry about the Lashiev specifically. Even with damage falloff, its semi-auto could still be more difficult to balance than anything else in the game. Maybe recoil should be added into the equation to help mitigate that power even more. That would likely make it have a serious skill ceiling, but would be even more rewarding to use if mastered. On that note, I still think each shotgun should feel unique in their use, and there can still be a great deal of variability in spread and range performance between each gun. 3 out of 5 shotguns in Vigor are double barrels, which means all of them perform pretty much identically in how you need to adapt your playstyle. This doesn't have to be this way though, and if you're adjusting spread values, you can adjust them to make the IZH, say the longest range with the tightest spread. So I was thinking it would be more designed for a mid-range and reliable 2 shot chest multiplier out to like 20 to 30 meters, but maybe less consistent 1 shots in CQB would compensate for that. Then the pigeon would be the middle ground of these double barrels. Pretty decent two shot distance, like maybe 15 to 20 meters, but not as strong or accurate at distance as the IZH. But this should also be more consistent with one shot kills in CQB, and it should be pretty easy to get a one shot at less than 10 meters. Then finally, the sawed off is kinda okay as is, and I know that might make some people upset, but really this is a sidearm and the only way it could be buffed and remain balanced would be like a 5-10% to tighter spread deviation. Something barely noticeable but improved enough to make it still fit in with the other shotgun changes. All of this is how you can take three guns that are functionally identical, the double barrel shotguns, and use spread and recoil balancing to make them feel completely different in the way you have to play with them. And I should also add that reload speed could also play a major role in the balancing of these three. I would say the sawed off should have the quickest reload, the pigeon should have the second, and the IZH should have the longest. And then finally, the last shotgun that I haven't talked about yet is the KS-23. 
Really, if I'm honest, I don't think this should be a buckshot shotgun. I think this should get its own ammo separate from the other shotguns because it doesn't use 12 gauge in real life. And if you're splitting what ammo the gun would use, I think it would be the perfect opportunity to add slug rounds. Now, let me clarify that I'm not suggesting there be multiple shell types for every shotgun. That would be so difficult to balance and complicated to integrate into Vigor's existing UI that I don't think it would be worth the effort at all. And really, I don't think it's important or necessary. We can't talk about adding features like that because it wouldn't fix the existing problems and the shotguns aren't properly balanced as is, so I can't imagine what everyone having access to multiple shell types would do to the game. I think that only the KS-23 should shoot slugs, and I think it should have a similar damage model to the Mosin. Really high damage to chest shots, but no one-shot potential unless hitting the head, of course. And also a hefty stagger that would buy time for you to rack the next round. A reliable sidearm that can perform to mid and maybe even long range, although not as strong as a primary, because it would definitely need to have a slower bullet velocity than the Mosin to make sure that it's playing to more of a close range role and not performing like a rifle. I feel that would be pretty fair and it would be a heavy hitting little pocket cannon that would also be pretty good in third person. So let's go back and summarize all of this because I know it's a lot. The IZH should be built for mid-range and should be the most accurate buckshot shooting shotgun in the game. It kind of already plays that role in comparison to the other ones, but the spread is still so wide on all of them that it is a hilariously low bar for accuracy. The Pigeon should be a solid all-rounder that's the easiest to learn how to use considering it's always being given to new players. And the Sawed-Off should stay roughly the same as is with maybe some minor tweaks because really it's not that important. The main focus of all of these should be providing a more predictable two-shot damage range seeing that's the amount of shells that each one of these guns holds. The KS-23 should get a separate ammo type in the form of slugs and the Lashiev should get a slight spread decrease with maybe a a bit of extra recoil or stay the same honestly the Lashiev is a beast as is and I could honestly see it going untouched and I wouldn't be that upset overall this is what I would consider to be the most important issue in Vigor's weapon balance if you follow the channel closely then you'll see about a week ago I dropped a video talking about 45 ACP and its flaws and you know that's pretty important because it is the start of a player's progression but shotguns are special in that they carry on throughout the rest of the game while also also being an integral part of the early game of Vigor. 45 ACP isn't anywhere near as important as this, and with the Remington 870's inevitable return, this needs to be addressed eventually or Vigor's forgotten weapon class will stay that way. So please, I really want to just get the conversation going and make more people talk about shotguns specifically in Vigor and whether there is or isn't a problem with them right now because it does seem fairly divisive. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel and I'll catch you all in the next one.